We threaten their safety. And two, we threaten their money. 1879, then the good old boys better bring that trash over here. Committing acts of violence against the violent protesters to stop the ones who they feel are being violent from committing violence. But what you fail to understand, it is not the complacency or the passivity of the nonviolent that has America uh, in the state right now. It is the fear of the repercussions of those who had the heart to commit violence, to make it comfortable for you to stand in this square today. So don't allow ones to come among you. These are the ones who are willing to die for you, who don't have the heart to die for yourself. So if they burn and they tear up, then you stand by them and you support them. You don't get in front of a camera and talk against them who have the heart to do what you don't have the heart to do. So let's stand together. I know you get sensitive about Target and Wendy, but stay united. We built this country. And if we decide to burn it down, we got a right to burn it down. And when we burn it down, black folk, you come back. Now it's time for your small business to become a chain. When it's gone. Number two, remove that trash from the middle of our town. And I can't tell if that's him or not. But I think that's the chief, and he's already started on that request, right up on the slave market. He's already started on that request. They hid behind their pews, set up in church, and all they wanted to do was sing, dance, and shout. When we got a war going on in these streets. Speak up against the evil. They tried to make you despise Black Panthers, Nation of Islam. Nat Turner, Reverend Rawls, Malcolm, uh, Malcolm X. But now you pray. I want to tell you to keep praying because they're going to need prayer. Because this is a new time, a new day, and there's something else on the table. There's something else on the table. I still love God. I love God so much to where if you disrespect another black man or woman, if you disrespect another one of our children, you will get what this country has never given you, consequences. I want to invite everybody out here to, today, tomorrow, to St. Augustine. At 3.30, we will leave St. Paul AME Church here to the slave market. Four o'clock, we'll get to the slave market and we make no promises about what's going to happen. Get the privilege or the right to tell us how to be mad. That's right. I read somebody's sign that said, we built this country. We got a right to tear it up. You don't tell me how to be mad. Your white supremacist theology that told me to just pray about it. They told me to turn the other cheek. They told me to love. I love you so much that I hurt you for threatening the future of my grandchildren. I love you so much that there'll be consequences for police brutality. What you got, I might not have as much. But I got enough to take you out. If we're serious and understand that we are at war, we are at war. You all will have the ones that we are at war with coming to your city on X Handle Saturday this year. We are at war. They don't care about your size. They don't care about your chest. But when you threaten their safety and their economy, then we win. Yeah. Yeah. I thank God for the policymakers. 
I thank God for those that want to have a conversation. I thank God for those that do it peacefully. But I thank God for those that are willing to get it by any means necessary. When we leave here today, I want you to have three words on your mind. But this time. But this time. But then Donald Trump. Go ahead. 